with another healthy recipe. Day two on the cafe, Luke Hines. Good Hi. morning, Mike. Thanks for having me again. But I've got to warn you, yeah. I'm actually under here wearing one of those green ball rats. Oh, good. Okay. I'm yeah. sorry. So Sweet. I don't know if I should leave or if you know. No, just get it off and show All right, us. here we go. After the uh, next after, break. After the break. Okay, tease. Um, speaking of which, what are we going to be making today? Choc raspberry bombs. Now, these are chocolate balls that when you put in your mouth, they explode. <laughs> OK, well, I'm, I'm keen for that. Um, but I thought you were doing healthy food. How can, how can this be healthy? I know. I thought I'd throw a bit of a spanner in the works here yeah. and prove that chocolate can actually be healthy when you make it from scratch with only three ingredients. OK, good. Well, that's something to look forward to. It looks delicious. I'm sure it's going to taste delicious a little later on. We'll find out. We will find out. Right now, though, it is over to Mel. Well, here we are in the cafe kitchen with the incredible Luke Hines. We're doing healthy eating, but we are making raspberry chocolate bombs this morning, and I'm pretty excited about that, Luke. I'm really excited, too. I've got to say, probably for the next uh, two weeks, this is my favourite recipe so far. Well, you, the, the thing is, is that people want to be healthy, but then they, you know, they've got to make the right food choices. So this gives you that sweet treat without it being bad for you. That's exactly right. And we're going to make chocolate from scratch, which is one of my favourite things to do because okay. we all have that chocolate sweet tooth. Yes, we do. And if you can make your own, then you're all the better for it with your health. OK, good. I like it. What do we need to do? So I'm just going to heat a small saucepan yep. over a medium heat. You mm -hmm. don't need it too hot. Just right. about that's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to melt down cacao butter, raw cacao powder, and maple syrup. Now, a lot of people think that this is actually white chocolate. Yeah, they look like white chocolate buttons. But in fact, it's purely the fat derived from the cacao bean. Wow. That's okay. exactly right. So we're going to put that in and that will melt down really quickly. As you can see, it's starting to soften a little bit yeah. and you'll end up with this beautiful, almost golden yellow liquid, which pretty much to me is liquid gold, liquid chocolate. Mm. You can't go wrong. Nice. So the next thing we add is the raw cacao. Now raw cacao powder is really, really good antioxidant okay. and it's high in the mineral magnesium. So it's really good to kind of relax you. That's why people often crave chocolate because it creates a relaxing effect. So you're sitting on the couch, you've got your chockey, and you start to wind down a little bit. That's me. Uh, clearly, I like to relax a lot. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now, just on the sweetener here, yes, I like people to use natural sweeteners. So yeah. obviously, honey, manuka honey, or even maple syrup is really, really okay, good as cool. well. Is that what you've got there? So I've got maple today. Yeah. We're going to put that in there. And that is literally three-ingredient chocolate. And we stir this together. And I love this. As it comes together, <laughs> you start to see how gorgeous that chocolate colour is. Now, I'm a, are, you a white, are you a light chocolate or a dark chocolate oh, fan? I'm a, I, well, any chocolate, to be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably more dark, actually. Well, yeah. you're in luck today because okay. it is all about the dark chocolate this nice. morning, which is absolutely perfect. Now, that's only one component of these choc raspberry bombs. Right. OK, so whilst that melts down, I'm actually going to get onto the beautiful raspberry filling. Okay, now, cool. we've got fresh raspberries in here, but you could use frozen and defrost them. Okay. So we're going to chuck those in there. And we've also got shredded coconut, which is actually a bit of a superfood. It's um, found at all good supermarkets, very, very easy to access, but it's a really good form of energy and flavoursome as well. Good. So we're going to put the shredded coconut in there. We've got two dates in here, medjool dates. Now they add a little bit of sweetness, but they also help bind the ingredients together. Nice. Now, vanilla bean. Some people buy vanilla essence yes. or vanilla flavouring. Yep. This is what a vanilla bean pod looks like. See that? Nice. Now, as you can see, yeah, I've split it through the middle, yeah. and then we've got all these black little seeds kind of through there. And all you need to do is get really much, like the back of a knife, scrape like that, right and just see that? There you go. You just scrape them off as so, nice and gently, and they will go into your dish. And it brings a really beautiful vanilla flavour into these choc raspberry bombs. I can smell that already. It's now, Tense. last but not least, for the final two ingredients in the raspberry mixture, yeah. we've got a little bit of maple. That helps bind and adds a little bit of sweetness because, remember, raspberries are actually quite tart. Yeah. All right. And we've got coconut oil. Coconut oil, when set in the fridge, actually firms up and becomes hard. OK, good. So when we set this mixture in the fridge, it's going to get nice and hard as well. Nice. So it all holds together. That's which exactly is right. <laughs> OK, so what are we going to do? We're going to blend that, aren't we? I'm going to blend this. Yep. 
And then I'm going to make sure this chocolate is ready to go. Yep. And when we see you soon, we're going to make these choc raspberry bombs come together. Absolutely brilliant, Luke. You are the bomb. So if you want to see how to do the second part, find out in just a minute. OK, we are back here in the kitchen. Chocolate raspberry bombs, the healthy way, with Luke Hines. This is from your recipe books. Every recipe you're doing this yep. week and next week's from that book. Yep, healthy made easy. 140 recipes to make sure that you can look after your health in a really easy way. But most of all, delicious. And you can tell me after two weeks of being here if you agree. I, well, I'm agreeing already. We've only uh, had two days. <laughs> um, OK, where are we at now? Because this chocolate's starting to cool down. So the chocolate cool looks down. amazing. Do you see how like, shiny that is? Oh, no, look That's at exactly it. what we want for the chocolate. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Now, in here, I've got all of the ingredients for the raspberry mixture that we prepared earlier. Yep. Now, I'm going to chuck the lid on here. And we're going to give this a blitz and bind it all together. And I tell you what, you're going to love the colour that we get after okay, this. Good. Here we yeah. go. Give it a rock and roll. Perfect. You that go is that quick. Can I just say that is how easy healthy cooking can be. That is incredible. You don't need all the different processes. You don't need to complicate things. Yeah. Looking after your health can be as easy as that. It looks pretty. Too. Now look at this. Look at the colour here. Now what we've got is this amazing raspberry mixture. Have mm. a look at that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hello. Well, ready. It smells so it's good. It's ready for its close-up. Now, what we do here yeah. is we simply get the mixture yeah. and we get about a teaspoon's worth, all mm -hmm. right? And we roll this into balls. Okay. Now, we're going to keep our hands nice and neat here today yeah. because guess what? What? I've done some earlier. Oh, awesome. Now, this is what we're left with, <laughs> oh, all yeah. right? So, basically, you get all your mixture, you roll it down, you get your hands dirty. Yeah. Now, for anyone with kids who like want to encourage them to get into the kitchen and get cooking, this is a fantastic <laughs> recipe because it's really cold. There's nothing they can hurt themselves on here. Perfect. Now, before I put these in the fridge, I actually pierce them with some little skewers or toothpicks. You could use toothpicks as well. Right. Now, that makes this bit even easier and really, really fun. I can see what you're going to do So we've got now. our chocolate. Yeah. Would you like to do the honours yeah, for yeah, the first one? Oh, so well, no, well, OK, I'll kill you. So pick just, pick just up a ball. It. How long would you leave these in the fridge for oh, before you do this? This has been in there for 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, That's cool. that easy. OK. And, All right, so and then what do you do? You drop your ball in the chocolate. Yes. and just That's it. And you coat your ball. OK. With the mixture completely. How oh. much do you put on? I've got to say you're a bit of an expert at this. Okay, good. Thanks, you, Luke. You are handling these you, very well. You are so Now, charming. what I'll get you to do is I'll get you to put that back on the tray. Yes. And that is how good it is. Do another one for me. Okay, cool. Now, if you've Yum. got any leftover chocolate mixture, <laughs> yeah. you can actually pour it out into a baking tray and make a chocolate bar, <laughs> all right, which is absolutely perfect as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to coat all of these balls with this rich, delicious, dark chocolate. And then, I'll tell you what, when we come back, we have a little bit of a treat waiting for us. And I'll tell you what, this is the kind of recipe that you want to be doing because you don't need to bake anything. We're not preheating ovens. We're just rolling some balls and getting some chocolate. I know, and it looks, it looks incredible. This is so, far, so much fun. The kids will enjoy doing this. Um, can I just stick my finger in the chocolate? Do you want to have a little taste yeah, test? Yeah, have a little taste. Mm. That is awesome. Thank okay. you. OK, now look, I, one other thing before we go, yeah. I wanted to ask you. I'm going to keep rolling balls. You keep rolling balls. <laughs> how, hard, <laughs> how hard is it to mentally shift into a world of eating healthy? What do you have to do? Do you have to arm yourself with the right books or do you have to do something in your head first? I think you need to take slow, steady steps right. and actually be kind to yourself because, let's be honest, we all fall off the bandwagon yes. occasionally. And I think part of the problem is we don't forgive ourselves. So we need to be kinder and go, you know what, I'm going to have my good days, my bad days, and I need to keep moving forward. Right. As long as you're making positive steps in the right direction each day, you're going to be on the money. OK, nice work. I mean, and that's what you've made a career out of, inspiring people to do that. You're right there with your balls? Oh, look, one of my balls is going to open up. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I'm going to get it and I'm going to spoon the ball oh, onto the plate. Go. Oh, there you go. cheating. Oh, look at that. Well, I've got to say, <laughs> that's mine because it's got extra chocolate on it. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, awesome work. Thank you, Luke. This is tasting delicious. You will see the finished product a little later on. And Luke is giving us a good life. These look fantastic. Here they are, guys. I hope you love them. The Choc Raspberry Bombs from Healthy Made Easy. Nice work. <laughs>